guys, you're never gonna believe what happened yesterday. These are my green tree monitors, and yesterday, for the very first time, we saw them actually breeding, which is just absolutely incredible. Now, tree monitors in their own are just amazing animals. There's green trees, there's yellow trees, there's blue trees, there's black tree monitors. The most common are the green trees. These are Varanus persinus, but they're not really commonly captive bred. I mean, you do see them out there, but not really commonly. So the fact that we're able to actually breed these guys is amazing, and hopefully, with that copulation will come eggs, and eggs will actually produce babies. They incubate for, I think, like nine months, which is just absolutely ridiculous. The fact is, is we're not trying to breed them. We're just giving them an environment that they're actually happy enough in where they're actually breeding on their own, which makes it even more awesome that they're actually breeding. With any luck here in the next month, two months, we'll start to see the females swell up and ovulate, and then ultimately we'll have to put a nest box in here, put it down in the bottom, nice moist box, she'll crawl in there, and she'll lay anywhere from like three, six, or seven eggs, which would be absolutely incredible. Seeing green tree monitors produced here would be an absolute dream come true. While the green tree monitors are trying to have babies, we think we're gonna take some of our older babies out for a little adventure. Starting with taking them to PetSmart to get leashes. And then we're going to the park. Who doesn't love the park? I do. And these little fellas right here, this is Big Mac, that's Chicken Nugget. These are Nova's and Lilith babies from about three years ago now. He doesn't even remember them. Dad? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Dang, dude. Here we go. Gonna be all right? What are you doing? He caught us. Um, Quick, go. Don't worry about us. What are they doing? Mike, can I go and take the something out of the No. Who's the boss here? I am. Oh, God. Don't oh, 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 God. Oh, 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 sorry. Worry about this one right here? No, I'm worried about Mike. Yeah, he, he, doesn't, he, he doesn't drive well. This is not smart. Oh, don't burn. Wow. You want to see mine? Yeah. Whoa! Damn. Oh, Michael! What? You cannot drive. Oh! Michael! These guys. Now there's different ways to obviously breed reptiles. When it comes to BHB, we don't have these big naturalistic enclosures, but we're keeping animals together all the time. We have a more minimalistic setup right here, and you can see we're very successful breeding this. This happens to be just a pastel female, and she's bred to one of our pumpkin males. That really beautiful orange line of animals, right? And we don't actually keep the animals together. Like I said, over at the Reptarium, we have these naturalistic enclosures together, so their breeding is really spurred on by the fact that they're happy in their environment. Whereas here, we're actually spurring on breeding by introducing males, changing environments, changing food, so on like that, and that actually creates clutches like this. Two, four, six beautiful eggs, right? So again, it's a different philosophy. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. My vision is to have BHB just like the Reptarium at some point where we don't have the minimalistic enclosures, that everything is kept in naturalistic enclosures, and hopefully just breeds on their own because it would be really super dope. But for now, this is the way we breed it. Again, there's two ways to do it, right? Give them naturalistic enclosures, keep them together, give them the environment, and they breed together. Or the other way, at BHB, again, more minimalistic, more kind of triggering of animals as opposed to actually just leaving them and let them do their thing like they would in the wild. Turn, turn. What is the f Whose fault was it? Not mine, I swear to God. I just watched I was this. watching yeah, the car about to hit us. Yeah, yeah. I don't know whose fault it was because I wasn't looking out the front window and something's definitely telling me Mike. it was definitely Mike's fault. It's not mine, I swear to you. So what happened? Yeah. I was literally Guys, I don't even know what we're doing. Harnesses we're getting harnesses, for. just like this dog. You see how they're walking the dog? Oh, we're getting harnesses for what? For them, so we can take them to the park. But I don't. I want to take something good to the park. They are good. No, well they are good, but I want to take something big. Don't, don't want I want to. Should we get one of these? Uh, I want to sit in that today. Not Which today. One? Yep. That works. Guys, that's, that's $40. I don't hey. have $40. I don't have $40. I like this one, though. I'll pay $40. I'm not paying $40 for that. Why would a dog harness need a compass anyways? They can't read time. Okay. Ah, it's a little bow tie. What a distinguished gentleman. Look at the distinguished gentleman. Oh, but he can get a lobster tie. Oh, wait, he's grabbing he's it. He's holding it. He likes it. Wow. <laughs> Should we get him the lobster tie? You don't need a tie. He doesn't work in an office. Oh, yeah. God. Mike. And this is a ripper right here. This is actually a banana and she pinstripe. Beautiful clutch of eggs right there. Oops, looks like we got one little slugger over here. Uh, yeah. 
that looks like right in the middle there's a slugger or is that a boob egg? That's actually a boob egg. So we've got a really tiny egg right here that may or may not go. It's gonna be a really small baby if it hatches. Probably 35, 40 grams, whereas this animal here will probably 75, maybe 80 grams. We've got two, four, six eggs. She's actually bringing to a stinger bee orange dream fire, right? So stinger bee is enchi and orange dream and then fire and spider. So essentially everything in this clutch is gonna be an enchi because of enchi's on both sides. Plus we're gonna have some super enchi stuff. Then we're gonna have fire, we're gonna have OD, we're gonna have spider, we're gonna have pinstripe. It's a lot of things going on, so it's really cool. And again, like I had mentioned, there's many ways you can breed animals. Now I'm not gonna say what's right or what's wrong. It's really what you wanna do. The majority of my career, we kept the minimalistic enclosures and so on. Like that. Now I'm moving to more naturalistic enclosures. I'm not saying that minimalistic is a bad way to go. I'm just saying that I personally get more enjoyment out of the naturalistic and that's where we're going. So again, over the next few years, you're gonna see kind of BHB change from this kind of minimalistic enclosure to more naturalistic and then everything is gonna be bred naturalistic, which I'm super excited about. You know if you have five sunburns in your life, it increases the chance of melanoma? You know that I'm black and I don't get sunburns. How is that fair? <laughs> Mike, that is just ridiculous. I think we can work that? on both of them. I love it. That's a good dog leash though. Well, that's a collar. Yeah. Oh. Stay still. Mitten didn't do there. Well, make up your mind. You either want me to stay still or put his mitten in there. This is ridiculous. I found another one. Two Ooh. random leashes right here? Oh. What are the odds Strapped up. That? Oh my god, he's a frail dragon. Yeah. Go, go, go. Where is he? Right here. Do you want to meet our dragons? No, thank you. <laughs> oh, uh, I need help. Just hold them. Why is it take, like, it just, like, just, oh, guys, just can't take it all the way off. Are you okay? Mike, oh my God, can you give it to me? I don't think that you get to do anything today. Should have probably left you back at the shop. I agree. Put that part over the head. Now cinch it up. These are real dragons. Let's pay for these leashes and take them to the park. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Mike, hold the dragon <laughs> so I can pet yeah, this dog. Yeah, she's a very happy dog. Can you say hi? Oh my god, she loves me. Okay, okay, okay. you get out. Okay. All right, <laughs> Athena. Hi. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Can you put the hat back? That's for dogs. Oh. It looks good on you. It's a good color. Jay, that's also for dogs. But it fits. There's not a hat selection here for humans where a pet's smart. This is a dragon. Yeah, these are dragons. Okay. That worked. This cat's name is Kitty. Real original. Look at him. Oh, look at there's another one. Goodness, Cuban knight and all. Oh, it's big. And look at it. Kind of looks the same. These guys kind of look the same. Mike, why is yours not getting any enrichment? Oh, look at this Anolis. He's got a long head. Anolis is a scientific name. I think Big Mac wants to go look at some fish. He wants this. I want this. A... Oh my God. Oh. Is that not the cutest thing in all our world? They call it really Ranger is. Nugget. Oh, wee wee wee. This lab kiss you. Mm. How's your first kiss? It's weird. Especially surrounded by a bunch of dudes. It's a, <laughs> it's a real dragon. Wait, how would a dragon fuck? That doesn't even have any wings. Wait, does that mean he can swim? No. Oh my God. Wow. Where's my thing connected? Two guys sitting on a couch, six feet apart, because. Slumber. So if you're not going the minimalistic route and breeding like, you know, with triggers where it's like either temperature, introduction of males, food cycle, whatever the case is. And by the way, you can still food cycle in an environment like this. As a matter of fact, it's important. You know, a lot of times when you're breeding monitors, you increase the food at a certain time of year. Then all of a sudden you're triggering those animals to breed. But really what you need, you need them to feel comfortable, right? We have the cork bark here, which is a hiding spot. We've got a hiding spot over here. We have plenty of spaces to go. We have the right temperature. We have the right humidity. We have lots of climbing branches. We want them to feel very comfortable, right? So basically you're trying to get in the head of the animal and say like, hey, can I produce babies? And if I produce babies, will my babies thrive? So you want to set up an environment where they actually are thinking like, we hey, might as well go ahead and reproduce because we know our babies are going to thrive. So that's basically it. You're setting up an environment that's going to be really, really conducive for them to actually want to produce and so that they want those babies to thrive. Because that's what nature is all about, right? Nature isn't about producing animals for them to pair. It's for them to produce so that they thrive. That's why the food cycle can be important, right? Because the females get lots of food. They think, okay, my babies are going to get a lot of food. And that's why they go through ovulation. So with any luck, we can check off green tree monitors off the list of production here later this year. We had to get them wings because I don't know, really know why they call them dragons. This is chicken nugget. That's Big Mac. Cute, right? Yeah, real cute. Need to pay for these two <laughs> dragon wings. We don't sell those here. Where did you get them? You caught us. We actually brought them. Yeah, yeah they're cool. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to the 
park, guys. Let's go. Can we stop and get some ice cream first? Mike, can you please unlock the door? It's unlocked. It's not. Mike, you're not drawing. You almost killed us. Come on, park time. Let's go. I'm scared. I'm going to put the helmet on. Did I do two scoops of vanilla in a cup or a bowl? You said two, right? Yes, please. Two scoops. Right. Small in twist, a cone. please. In okay. a cone. What do you guys want? I want to show you the cricket blizzard. Dude, they're talking. Mike, oh. I mean, Jade. Oh, thank you, Mike. This, all right, I, I'll forget all about what happened. Right, all what about. is the f***? Whose fault was it? Alright, aww. It's your ice cream. I, it's melting so fast, dude. Ow! I think we're Ow! My knees. Wow, Noah. What? That's impressive. What are you doing later? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, bring the dragons. Why that one? Yeah, why can't I just make you? Why can't it be like that one? Can you hold my ice cream? Oh, I'm not gonna fit you. I hit my knee. Jay. Yeah? I'm stuck. Here I come. <laughs> Whee! That one got stuck. Ouch. Dragons love swing because ever since evolution took away their wings, they miss that <laughs> feeling. So this simulates it. Was that fun? I had a blast. Did you? Oh my god, look at him. Ow! Oh. Noah, have you seen Big Matt? Who's the dragon? Dude, dad's gonna be pissed. Oh. Oh, he was right there the whole time? Yeah. I had no clue this was true. It was from Papua New Guinea. It's so not only nice to get them outside for a little bit of enrichment with new people. Oh, wow. See guys, what a nice dragon one. is. <laughs> what? Did that hurt? Mm. Okay. That is how you take dragons to the park in PetSmart and interact with people sometimes. Enrichment. Take your animals out. Don't leave them out in the sun though. Can we get more ice cream? So it's awesome to see the green tree monitors breed. Hopefully we'll get some babies. Not to mention it was awesome for the frillies to get out for a little adventure with the boys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, what is the f Whose fault was it?